<laughs> Hello there. So, you must be the renowned traveler. Uh, can I help you? Hey, don't forget about the equally renowned Paimon. Now, actually, take the renowned Paimon, leave me the heck alone. <laughs> of course. Well, it just so happens that our tavern, Angel Share, is hosting a Bartender's Academy Week. Basically, you'll have full access to all of our ingredients to mix cocktails or any other drink you please. As long as you refrain from being wasteful, you can enjoy unlimited refills for the drinks you create. So that's a real reason why everyone signs up to the Academia, I'm assuming. Sign me up, baby! Also, you'll be rewarded handsomely if the guests are happy with your drinks. What are we waiting here for, Luca? Let's go. What? There's even reports. Well, I'm sold too. Hey, I know you two. So what can I get for you today? Charles, I would like it that you don't forget me that quick. Hey, Charles. Actually, we came to be bartenders today. Bartenders? Oh. <laughs> so, Luca roped you two in. It was too good to be true. He's uh, got quite a knack for that. No unlimited refills. You're certainly talented at handling difficult tasks. There's no doubt about that. But mixing cocktails is a whole different game. It's delicate work and requires a certain amount of finesse. Everything from the ratios of your ingredients to your mixing techniques could affect the final product. Don't worry, she's a fantastic cook. Cooking and cocktail making have a lot in common. You just put random stuff and really just let the fire do the rest? All right. I'll take your There's word. There's no fire for this, is there? Oh, and one more thing. Shit. In a previous event, we had a student who arbitrarily mixed three kinds of hard liquor. Just one glass was enough to leave a customer passed out on the floor. Charles, don't you worry. After I'm done with this, everyone will be passed down on the floor because I owe Diona a very special something. So in light of that incident, we decided to no longer provide alcoholic ingredients to beginners. I hope you'll understand. All right, boss. All right, Diana, for all the fucking bar foot you fed me all this time. Let's make the most God forbid awful drink they're going to let me make today. All right. Moonlight Alley. Coffee. Milk. Coke paste. Oh, wait, wait. What happens if I just put some fizzy water? Put some lemon in there. Maybe some mint. All right. Throw that in. Oh, this is so common. Click a suitable size. All right. One large cup of garbage coming right up. Huh. This doesn't look like the drink they ordered. Ah, I'll give you the trash I make. I just had three shots of coffee. All right, boss. You're a quick learner. This tastes pretty good. I mean, agree. <laughs> that was just practice, though. On the job, customers often will have special requests for their drinks. Some may enjoy a stiffer drink, while others might prefer something more sour. Everyone has their own preferences. Adjusting the amounts of the ingredients is always the key. Paima would like a caramel pinecone extra sweet in the biggest glass you have. Please and thank you. Well, that's about all there is to it. But to become a truly exceptional bartender, in addition to mixing skills, you'll also need to master conversing with your you know, customers. I like to think that's the only skill I have here for the job, boss. All right. In that case, you two can take this counter. If you have questions Wait, or you guys have help, a counter up? Just give me a holler. I don't see. Is that where you actually serve alcohol? Wait. Um, guys, would you come talk to me here? Hi, Rosario. You won't hurt well, me if I, you know. This is a surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise. I want to talk to Rosario. See you two behind the counter today. In that case, I'd like a death afternoon. All right. How about morning? Because that's the time right now. Leave it to Kaya to make things difficult right from the start. Ah, uh, it's been a while, Rosario. What's Come up with the new shirt up costume? I just wanted to see how she'd react. I admit I didn't expect to see you here today, Sister Rosaria. With so many demanding customers that frequent the tavern. I only thought I'd help the traveler gain some experience. That's all great and all, but where's my sword, punk? There he goes with that smooth talk again. Don't get me wrong, I was only trying to be helpful. If anything, you should be thanking me. Now, how about we start with something simple, like a moonlit alley, for instance. Who's calling this simple? Oh, and make it a large, please. I'll leave my drink up to you. Just make it a tea of some kind and not too big. Coming right up. Garbage one and garbage Please, two. Take your time. Moonlit Alley. What's the recipe for that? Ah, I know the recipe for that. Put some tea, put some juice, put some coca, put some lemon, put more coffee. Huh. This doesn't look like the drink they ordered. Paimon's gonna block me from poisoning everyone here, isn't she? <laughs> it looks like the same dog shit. How do you make this shit up? <laughs> Why am I making this? Am I cursed? 
What the hell? Rosario, <laughs> what do you want from me? You know what, Diana? I think I'll leave it to you to destroy the wine industry. What is it, Rosario? You don't like the drink? <laughs> I'm sorry. I tried. No, the drink you made me is fine. It's just that I rarely ever drink tea. The taste always reminds me of certain things. All right, you can be edgy in the side now. Let me get back to work. Ah, I presume you're referring to the church? Yes. The church once held an event that I couldn't attend, but Sister Barbara still saved some tea and dessert for me. The dessert had already gone stale, so she whisked it away when I wasn't looking. But the tea tasted just like this drink you made me. Stale and awful. Boy, you're in rare form today, Rosario. I don't think we've seen any of her form in a while, Paimon. Sounds to me like Mondstadt's just gained another black tea lover. <laughs> I'd prefer something a little stiffer. What about you? Did he choke on your drink? That depends. If I point out a few flaws, will you make me another one? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd never subject you to such treatment. Gosh, Kaya sure is a tough nut to crack. Hmm? I don't really care what's going through his mind as long as we only talk about drinks. You and me both. Besides, Kaya's only interested in people or things that intrigue him. Whether that's you, the innkeeper here, or anybody else. You spend way too much time with them, haven't you? Hey. How could you divulge so much about your dear old drinking buddy, hmm? You think I'm saying too much? <laughs> Get over yourself. It's no big deal. Ugh, I'm constantly surrounded by uptight folks day to day. I prefer the easygoing atmosphere in the tavern. Rosaria, you joined a church, alright? This is all you're doing. Oh, are we gossiping about people who take themselves too seriously now? Alright, drinks sure bring a lot out of people. This is gonna be an eventful day. Speaking of which... I know someone who could easily place in the top three most serious people in Mondstadt. <laughs> D-Luke, D-Luke, D-Luke. As to their level of seriousness, hmm. well, let me put it this way. Gene? They probably wouldn't even flinch if I Why am I partaking in this game of yours? Are there really rankings for people like that? Of course. Just off the top of my head, there's a running list for the most consistent drinkers, hardest workers, worst cooks, or even... Biggest hoarders of dark secrets. Sounds to Paimon like Mondstadters have way too much time on their hands. Are there really that many people who don't need to work? Yeah, I think I know who he's talking about. Aw, uh, but what about Paimon? Is there a category that Paimon can be ranked as high as her? Annoying? Pain in my ass? Why, of course. How about... Ah, best bartenders. Really? That's great! Our names will be remembered together! What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I must admit, the atmosphere you bring isn't half bad. Well, I can't help but attract idiots, huh? You can say that again. Just looking at these two brings a smile to my face. Good bartenders create a nice atmosphere and get people in a good mood. You know, like a mascot. So I guess there's really no contest for the title of best bartender. That's what he was going for the whole time. Huh? There's oh, a face I haven't seen in a while. What brings you here? Do you have nothing to do today? <laughs> Me? Nothing to do? Don't count on it. I heard you two were working as bartenders, so I thought I'd drop by to see how you're coming along. D, look, I'm trying to burn the bar to the ground, but it's not working so far. Wow, you really do catch wind of things quickly. So, tell me, how do you like being a bartender? It's still a little too early to tell. We haven't been at it for very long. Just tell me your initial feelings. Excited, confused, anything. How does it feel to be a bartender? It's fun. I see. Hey, didn't you want to ask Paimon too? Paimon's initial feeling is... <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm happy for you. Dila, what's wrong with you? I didn't even pour you a drink. Now, could you make me a Grey Valley Sunset then? I'll leave the size up to you. All right, boss. Great. Take your time. Boss, your eyes look more dead inside than I remember last time. Mm, not bad. Not bad at all. You know, you say not bad at all, but I just really pour juice out of a container. It's all about the ingredients. If the fruit are fresh and juicy, then the drink will naturally be sweet and tasty without adding anything else. Very true. Sounds like I should thank the soil of Mondstadt. <laughs> you and me both. It just so happens that Grey Valley Sunset is the first drink I ever mixed. Hmm, we're getting nostalgic, are we? I was still quite young. 
My father laid out several ingredients and told me to experiment with them. No requirements and no instruction. In hindsight, he probably just wanted to test my creativity. You weren't very creative, were you? In the end, I just made a glass of fruit punch. Much like this one. What did he tell? Oh? But why fruit punch? My father was equally surprised. I didn't really put much thought into it. I just figured that it would taste sweet. Looking back on it, I was so young and naive. I wouldn't be so sure. Oh? I'm sure he took it with a smile. But then again, I guess I'm young and naive too. I've never thought about it, I suppose. My father didn't say a word at the time, but... Thank you. By the way, there's something I'd like to give you. But I suppose it's better to wait until you have more experience with your bartender job. I have no doubt that you'll do very well. I'll try to burn your expectations, boss, in a very negative way. <laughs> Very well. Then, I look forward to seeing your good work. See you around. Come back soon when you have a minute! Another familiar face at the right of the tavern. Please tell me it's not who I think it is. Oh, Luca. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Only us three are present here. It's good to see you. Granny! <laughs> it is certainly unusual for us to meet in a place like this. But as Lisa said, I'm glad to see you. Gene, I'm actually kind of surprised to see you. I thought you lived in the office. Hey! What do you mean by a place like this? The tavern is a wonderful place to relax and unwind a little. I'm glad to see you ladies are still the same. Do you have any idea how hard it was for me to drag the acting grandmaster away from her desk? Lisa, thank you for doing God's work. I We've miss you, Jean. We've only been here for a few minutes, and worry is already written all over her face. <sighs> Lisa. Well, the Knights of Favonius do have a lot to handle. Like, you know, not recruiting the actual Knight of Favonius, Noel. About, but you know what they say. Now that we're already here, why don't you let her mix a couple of drinks for you two? It'll make you feel a lot better. Think of it as a way to unwind. Honestly, Jean is the only person I know who needs to be taught how to relax. Hey, cutie, whip me up a love poem. Medium, extra sweet. All right. I still think it's not gonna undo your age, Grandma. And how about you, Jean? What are you in the mood for? I'll just have coffee. Medium, please. Master Jean, you drink coffee all the time. Wouldn't you like to try something else? Thanks, but no. I want something to help keep me awake. All right, there's no, you're not changing your mind. Thanks. Got it right up. Anything for the lady. All right, Grandma's here too. The sweetness is just right. The coffee is strong and rich with just a nice hint ah, of bitterness to it. Ah, stop it. I just started day one here, by the way. Actually, I do understand what you meant, Lisa. Hmm? Hmm? I've been reflecting on my weaknesses lately. There's still room for me to improve in many areas, such as my productivity <laughs> and management. Lisa, she's hopeless, isn't she? What? <laughs> See? Cutie knows. You were working yourself way too hard, so I thought I'd take you out for some drinks. All I wanted was for you to have some fun. But even in the tavern, you're still thinking about work. That's what's most concerning. If you're constantly under stress like this, it's only a matter of time before you burn I out. I don't want to miss my favorite acting night, Grandmaster, now. Oh, you also agree with Lisa traveling? Just as once. Hmm. So, is learning to relax actually my biggest challenge? Dakota saying from Leo where everything has a balance. Oh, man! Oh, Play man! Hard. Play hard! That's how I live my life. Don't follow me, guys. <laughs> All right, I, I understand. Oh man, you heard that, didn't you? Thank you. All of you. Now I know that this place serves refreshments for both the body and the mind. Is that why you and Kaya like the tavern so much? Yes and no. It really depends on who's making the drinks. Speaking of which, we couldn't have changed Jean's mind without you today. You sure have a way with words, cutie. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> then we'll see you later. I'll consider coming here to relax if I have another opportunity. Lisa, make sure she has an opportunity. Sounds great. Take care, you two. Before we even start this conversation, show me the damn moron I'm kicking you out of my tavern. Ah, traveler. Good to see you. I trust you are well. Well, it depends. Are you going to pay for the drink this time? You sure are enjoying retirement to the fullest, Tim. If I am to roam about the world, 
then I certainly mustn't limit my destinations. The free and prosperous land of wind is as splendid a place to visit as any. I could have sworn your last visit with Wendy made you think otherwise, but yet here you are, eh? And it's quite a pleasant surprise to run into you here. We can chat or a cupboard too. One misty garden, please. I take my tea strong, thank you. Alright, strong tea coming up. Mm. The tea is clear and glows with a pleasing hue. Its richness is complemented by a floral and fruity fragrance. Exquisite. The thing I'm hearing is words of, you know, old all the way to Mondstadt now. Wow. So Zhang Li is even super knowledgeable about tea. Kid, what are you trying to imitate him for? Paimon usually just gulps down the tea and says something simple like, Mmm, yummy, yummy in Paimon's tummy. Mindfully savoring the tea shows due respect to the person that brewed it for you. In a way, huh? Tea of good quality is hard to come by. And those capable of brewing. You know, flattery and all is great, but show me the damn money, emotions. old man. Oh, Paimon gets it now. So, could you teach Paimon how to savor tea like you do? It seems you smell it first then drink it. Right? Is that the freshness? That's correct. Every type of tea is unique. The more you drink, the more you will understand the subtle differences. Smelling the aroma will reveal the quality of the tea. Lower grade teas emit a musty and seemingly scorched scent. Whereas ones with a delicate yet soothing aroma are usually of a higher quality. If you want to be more particular, according to Liyue ancient tradition, you could acquire a vintage goblet, which is used specifically for examining the aroma. Alright, let me just call War Goblet instead. That's the closest goblet I've got. Oh no! All this time, Hyman's been missing out on her teeth! Wait, you thinking the same as I'm thinking War? Not to worry. Knowledge is vast. It's never too late to learn. As a beginner, you can try this method. First, observe the color. Then, smell the fragrance. And finally, take a sip. And lastly, show me the money. Remember, you can understand anything as long as you approach it in the proper order. Always willing to share, eh? What I shared with you today are mostly my own habits as an old-fashioned Liyue local. Old or relic, old man? No, I think you mean relic, old man. Each region has its own tea traditions and culture. One should always respect the conventions of the local region. Paimon gets it! Uh, but whether Paimon can remember Classic it all Paimon. <laughs> Thank you for such excellent tea. It made my trip out here all the more worthwhile. So where are you going to go next, old man? Actually, I think I'd rather not want to know. If you ever come to manage a tea house, I will certainly be a regular. You know, you're all flattering me, old man, but show me the damn mora. I'm not running a charity here. Well, we're already pretty busy. I don't think we'll have time Who to knows what the future holds? Regardless, you have my complete support. Let's call it a day. I won't take Wait, wait, wait. About time. the bill. Ah, yes. The bill. Uh, just... Put it on Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's tab, as usual. Of course. Mm. Take care. Give our regards to the director. Now, I think he traveled all this way out here to escape her, Paimon. How's it going, Wanjins? Are you sleeping? A small foamy reef, <laughs> Thank you. What are you doing in my bar already drunk, Yulo? I... I'm fine. Huh? There's off about you. Well, gave it away. But Foamy Reef has coffee in it. For her tummy's sake, let's water it down before serving it to her. Ice, fizzy water, and coffee give this drink quite the punch, bitter novel, and just a little rebellious. Yeah, that sounds like Eula, all right. Foamy Pima's instruction, you mix water into the coffee. You won't let me do anything on my own without her oh, guidance, though. pretty good. Wow. She didn't even notice how much water we added. Why do you go drinking she this stuff? A drink. One more, bartender. Uh, uh, oh, wait. It's you guys? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Uh, uh, sorry. I knew it. I just came here from the cat's tail. Perhaps I had a little too much to drink. Why do you pour all that drink down for anyways? Yeah. Uh, I suppose I always do drink alone. As long as I'm in Mondstadt, I'll never be welcome at taverns. I was actually feeling good today and wanted a drink, but they still wouldn't get off my back. Don't barf on me, Eula. Tell me, 
How did you manage to make so many friends? I think the secret is not trying to make so many friends. <gasps> People always sound so appreciative and are always smiling when they talk about you. But as for me, just mentioning my family name is enough to make everyone. <sighs> my mojo, son. Right now you're drinking, so don't think about it too much. You didn't choose to be born into the Lawrence clan, and we don't care about that kind of thing. But you don't like being straightforward. You always pretend to hold a grudge and... Hey... Who said I was pretending? There will be many people who accept you one day, Yulo. Is that? I accepted you, right? Do you think so? <laughs> it's impossible to imagine. <laughs> Even when I'm this drunk. Just when you're this drunk. Even after being a knight of Favonius for all this time, people still... <laughs> Whatever. That's a useless arc on a monster that says, Winds always change their course. Don't go giving up on yourself before I give up on you myself. Okay. Thank you. Now don't sleep here. I. <clears throat> I, I die too, I boo. Go now. Mm, no need. I want to remember what you said. And I She's won't so be studious. Able to think about anything else until I write everything down. Lawrence Clan blood does run in her, I guess. You Drinks. She seems pretty open regardless to me, Paimon. But it does feel like something's missing without her signature revenge. I kinda feel naked now. Uh oh. When she wakes up in the morning, do you think she'll mm, come time to switch to occupation? A whore traveler. Great timing. Join us for a round. I'm the one pouring the round, Captain. Traveler. What a pleasant surprise. It's nice to see you guys again, but seriously, what are you doing here? Wait, did you two come together? Well, this lady decided on a whim that she wanted a little vacation, so we ended up traveling around the area. I thought this lady's the one who made the vacation. What are you, a traveling companion? Dad, I guess we have different ideas of vacation. We hardly hiked the mountains before we came here to put our feet up. Talk about spoiled. <laughs> Come now. No need to hurt anyone's feelings. Besides... I specifically chose this place because I knew how much you liked to drink. Beta, how did she rope you into this this time? But our captain here has seen a lot more of the world, so she's not exactly thrilled with this little tavern. Well, I gotta change that a little bit. No, don't <laughs> That'll I? do. Anyway, this one's on me, okay? Beta's pain? Uh, does that include us? Where are the bartenders, Paimon? And what can I get for these two lovely ladies? I'll have a small birch sap on the sour side. Uh, I will have a large dusk, please. Thanks. Coming right up. Eventually. The heck is a birch sap? Do I need to put a bird in this? Is that what it is? <laughs> I'm joking. Where am I? She really does like the aftertaste, though. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot how specific Ningguan is with her taste. All right. What do you got for me? Hmm. If anything, she's the one who made the drink, not me. Mm, the bittersweet taste of nostalgia. Nostalgia? You mean the taste of going from rags to riches? Just what kind of taste is that? Yeah, actually, I kind of want to know how that feels like, too. <laughs> it's mainly sour with just a tinge of sweetness and a lingering aftertaste. Like I was talking earlier. Interesting. Does it taste like starting a little business, then discovering that selling fruit isn't very lucrative? You're just always on RK. She's always on RK. <laughs> no need to get into the details. Let's leave the past in the past. <laughs> Who'd have thought that the dignified Tianjuan was once a fruit vendor on the street? On the other hand, I bet few can tell that I'm from an ordinary fishing village, right? Not necessarily. If you ask me, I'd say that Captain Beto has eyes that can pierce the sea. You're an adventure-seeking pioneer who tames the wind and the waves. Which is clearly indicative of someone who grew up by the sea. You know, she's really got your number, Beto. Hey, you're not mocking me, are you? You'll never know if she is, will you? Come now. It wouldn't do any good to be sarcastic. Alright, 
Then I'd like to have a few more. Ah, another drink for the lovely lady. Well, you heard the good lady, bartender. The good lady, oh, I huh? like where this is going. I'll have another round, too. All right, coming right up. Mm, Mondstadt's fresh fruit juice is hard to top. I wish I could enjoy some every day. Yeah, because they are grown pretty nearby. Around the Dawn Winery, there's a vineyard? I think that's <laughs> where it serious? comes from. I'm not sure. Don't tell me you're going to open a Sunsetia trade route now. <laughs> An interesting proposition. Wait, uh huh? Really? I'm just joking, of course. There's already a whole industry established for that. They don't need me muscling my way into their business. There's a juice industry in Lewa? Huh. Is there? I don't remember any. Thanks for the drinks today. If you'd ever like a cushy job, I'd enjoy having you as my personal bartender. I thought I already had another job of... Wait, you, did you, she's given us two business opportunities. I'm just saying the brother is temporary. You're also welcome aboard the Alcor. The crew loves to drink. You could come feast with us. I promise you'd have a blast. All right, I'll split 50-50. Pine might do all the hard work for Ningua, and I'll go have fun with Beto. My, my. Captain Beto, are you competing with me for talent? And now finally, I'm sorry, Shenna, I'm sorry. I didn't forget about you, I promise. But you just got, you have to tell me what the hell you're doing here. You know, part of me is glad she's finally, you know, out in the real world with people. And the second part of me is thinking, who did she kill before she came here? Hi there! Paima would be more surprised to see you if we hadn't already seen a bunch of our friends. <laughs> she and me both. Huh? Wait, you're Shenna! Alright, she's stupid. This place isn't easy to find. Angels share. The name doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. How the hell did you find this place? Actually, why are you here? Mr. Zhongli was kind enough to help me with directions. Oh, I'm thankful. Wait, you came all this way just for a drink? Just tell me you didn't come here to find me instead. Wait, why would you? What's That's going right. on? Because we're friends. Alright, buddy. This one's on the house. You buttered me up. Actually, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty buttered up seeing so many familiar faces today. What would you like? Boreal watch. Hmm. Boreal? As in a cold climate. You can read that blurred out text? Well, Boreal watch here probably is referring to the wolf of the north. So, yeah, you could say it's cold. Caramel pine cone. How could that be a drink? Well, one way to find out. Are you ordering? Oh, Paimon's tried that one. It's actually caramel flavored coffee. Pine cone just refers to the color. Huh? These names are confusing. I can't make sense of any of these. How about we start out with something you've already drank before? I'll leave it up to you. I read as them. long as it's something that tastes like Qingxin or violet grass. My uh, cursed drinks? Uh, those medicinal herbs. How about something sweet instead? Fine. That's a good idea. You've practiced the adept eye arts long enough. It's time for something new. Let's make Shenha a snow covered kiss. It sounds like a perfect fit. Mm, it does. Snow covered. I don't know where the kiss is coming from. Hmm. It's sweet and smooth. Not bitter at all. What is it? A good drink, I'm assuming. It's called a snow covered kiss. Whisk milk until it frosts, then gently pour it over some juice. It looks like it's covered by a layer of snow. Perfect for you, right? Don't ask why it's called a kiss, though. Diamond doesn't get it either. It's Probably just a gimmick to get it to sell better. Uh, gimmick? Uh, Paimon's just guessing. Maybe it's more of a romantic description. Romantic? Uh, it's hard to explain. Stop making Paimon come up with things. It's kind of like the snow on the mountains. Mm hmm that's right. Like a sprout pushing through ice to give you a kiss. The moment you taste sweet is of the juice. Uh, now stop making me say stuff like this, Paimon. I seem to understand now. Really? really? Could he explain it to me? Because I have no idea what I just said. But wait, why is Paimon the one who's confused now? Occasionally, I chew on divine herbs as I wander about in the mountains. I have witnessed the moment a new sprout breaks through the soil. Gleaming and fresh, like awakening of a new dawn. <sighs> the elation in my heart then does bear a resemblance to what Something I'm like experiencing that. now. Right? Thank you for helping me understand these obscure names. I might need your help again sometime in the future. All right. Well, clearly you know how to find me. See you soon, buddy.